Hello scholars, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at standard form, which is also called scientific notation. Right? So if you hear anybody talking about scientific notation, they mean standard form. So it's a special way of writing numbers, and this is the format. So we must have one digit in the ones place. So this number here should have one digit in the ones place and everything else as a decimal. And then we're going to multiply it by 10 to a power, whether 10 to the zero power, the first power, the second power, the third power, depending on how many places we would have to move back or forward to get that number back to the original number. So we're, we're changing the number in one way and then reversing that step so that the overall value of the number remains the same, right? So, we only want one number, one digit in the ones place or to the left of the decimal point. Everything else will be expressed as a decimal or to the right of the decimal point. And then we times it by 10 and how many number of places we'd have to move back. So we only, we only need six here. All of these become decimals and now we say how many places would we need to move back to the right to get this back to 6,000. So we'd have to move one, two, three places. So we write that as 10 to the third power. 6.095 as 10 cubed. 10 to the third power. 4.2861 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. We'd have to move four places back to get the original number. So in other words, this number and this expression here, they are the same, they are the same value. This is actually 42,861 like this. Because we're saying multiply it back by 10,000, 10 to the fourth power. If we do that, it would mean moving four places to the right and we will get back our original. So we just want to have one digit in the ones place and then we just simply write back how many places would we need to, need to move to the right in this case we need to move four places back. 831,643, so we just need an eight, times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five. If we multiply this by 10 to the fifth power, moving five places to the right, we will get back our original. So we have it in standard form, and it's exactly the same value as this. 7,008, so that's 7.008 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 10 to the third power, 2.14 times 10 to the 1, 2, second power. And this would be 8 times 10 to the zero power because remember 10 to the zero power is one any number to the power of zero is one so this is eight times one right 91 so that's 9.1 times 10 to the first power we'd have to move one place to the right for this to be become 91 again 50 so that would be 5.0 times 10 to the first power, 6.17 times 10 to the 1, 2, second power. Alright, so now let's look at some decimals. So these are in decimal form. We're going to write them in standard form. Remember, in standard form, we only want one digit in the ones place. So in order to, order to achieve that, we would want the digit to be here then, between the one and the four. So we'd only have the one 
in the one split. So that's 1.4. Remember, this digit here must be one or more. It can't be zero. So this is not in standard form. It has to be one or more, this number here. So then, we would have to think to get this back to the original number so that we haven't really changed the value of the number. We would have to move back to the left. From here, we'd have to move back one, two, three places. When we have to move back to the left, we say that it's 10 to the negative power. So we'd have to move three places to the left. We're dividing by a thousand, so that's 10 to the negative 3. How many places? So we, we, would, we would need the point between the 1 and the 8, so that's 1.8 times 10. From here, we'd have to move back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get it back to where it originally was, so that's 10 to the negative 5. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. 0 0.9. All right, so we will want one, we want one digit, so that would be 9 or 9.0 times 10 to the negative 1, because we'd have to move back one place to get it back to the original. 0 0.236, so we need it here. We need one digit to the left of the decimal. And to achieve that, from here we'd have to move back, see? If, if it's now between the two and the three, we'd have to move back one place to get it to where it was. So is that still a negative one? And we need to get, so 0 0.0041, for standard form, we need one digit in the ones place. So that would mean we will need the decimal between the four and the one. How many places from here would we need to move back to get it back here? How many places from in between the four and the one would we need to move back? That's one, two, three places. So that's 10 to the negative three. 4.1 times 10 to the negative 3. And that's standard form. That's standard form. So remember, this is the format, the general format. We need one digit. If it's only the whole number, just that whole number, if it's a decimal or if it's a whole number that has several digits, we just need one of those digits to be in the ones place. And then we're going to multiply the number by any number power of 10 that we would need to get it back to the original. So if we moved three places to get it to where it is here, we need to move back three places. If we had moved back, then we need to move forward three places. So that depends now. That is going to determine whether this is, whether the power is positive or negative. So if we had to move back this way, then we're saying we're going to need to move forward now. So the power is positive. And if we had to move, so from here we had to move forward to get it here. So in standard form we're saying now we have to move back. So the power is negative. All right? So depending on where you had to move, the power will be the opposite. If you had to move forward, the power would be negative. Had to move back, the power would not be positive to balance things out because we really don't want to change the value of the number. We're just expressing the number in a different form. We don't want to change the number. Right? So it's just a different way of saying the same thing. So remember, 6,095 is the exact value of 6.095 times 10 to the third power. 42,861 is the exact value of 4.2861 times 10 to the fourth. 
these numbers are identical. All right? Okay, so that's standard form or scientific notation. Remember to look out for the videos on um, rounding to a certain number of decimal places and significant figures. All right, so if you have been helped by this video, just drop a word to say thank you and share the video so others may benefit from the video as well. And let me know if you don't see a particular video in the catalog, let me know which topic that is that you want me to do a video on. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now and I'll see you in the next video.